Eric, first of all, um, what's the team news coming into this game? Um, what changes, if any, do you envisage making from Monday? We will see tomorrow. The manager knows, but I will first tell the team and then we will see tomorrow. Is everybody fit and how is Casemiro coming along? Uh, Anthony Marshall is not fit. Um, what effect has Monday night's win had on the group this week? Has it been noticeable? Uh, the spirit was already good, uh, but now it's even better. It's clear, but it's only one game. And so we have to build uh, further on. We have to develop, and I think everyone is aware of that. How important is that, though, to what you're trying to achieve here and the end goal? Again? How important is that result, though, for what you're trying to achieve here? Yeah, I, th I think um, it supports, it helps, of course, because uh, I said before the game, Liverpool is, um, um, especially last year, the best playing football team for me in the world. And when you beat them, eh, it must give a lot of, uh, of confidence, clear. And going into this weekend, early kickoff against Southampton, what are your thoughts on them and that challenge? It's a different challenge. And uh, uh, so I'm really curious, uh, do we have, uh, did we learn the lesson from Brentford? Uh, because this is, uh, will be more or less the same approach. Uh, it's about transition, it's about uh, running, it's about battling and fighting, and then we have to m make it our game. So it's a real challenge for us to do that. Just following up on the team news, what is the situation with Anthony? And will Casemiro be fit to start the game? Casemiro is, is fit, yeah. He did um, all the training sessions. He uh, trained first individual and the last days he played, uh, he trained with the team, yeah. And the situation with Anthony, is he, what, what, what's... Matteo. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, he, um, he came out with a problem on his Achilles, out of the game. So, um, we have to wait. I cannot tell a prognosis how long it takes. Um, of course, I hope uh, that he will be available for next game. We've learned already not to ask you about specific names, but uh, are you expecting this to be a, a busy week in the transfer market for Manchester United? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, what we said, we, uh, we need players, clear, but we need the right players. And that is what we said the whole transfer window. And we are happy what we did uh, till now. And, but uh, yeah, the barrier has to be high. We've seen Eric Bailly leave this week. Are you expecting more players to go out? And three players haven't, you haven't been asked about for a while. Phil Jones, Brandon Williams and Axel Twanzebi. What's their situation and availability? It can be, but the, the way you are talking about, they are in this moment not available. So I don't think they will go out in this window. Eric, you ran over 18 kilometres more against Liverpool than you did against Brentford the week before. That's a huge difference. I just wonder how difficult is it to sustain that from one game to the next? How difficult will, be, will it be to repeat it again tomorrow? We need to have a high standard. So it's a demand to the, to the, to the group, uh, to all the players to do that. And now they see uh, what the reward is. Huh? And uh, so we have to match the runs um, in and out of position. So also in possession, uh, we need runs, we need movement. Uh, if you want to dictate a, a game, uh, you're going to do it in more ways, but also we want to do it in possession. And, and, and of course, uh, out, out of possession, organisation, intensity has to be all, always right to get a result. And is there more pressure on you with the ball as well in this game than perhaps there was against Liverpool? I think in every game <laughs> there is pressure on the ball huh? and, and it's, it's our intention to make the game huh? but obviously and I said uh, Liverpool is a really well playing team huh? there will be more occasions than, uh, than you're out of position and if you want to get a result you have to do your work well and, but that is also what you have to do uh, when you um, uh, are in a game where you have maybe more possession but there will also always occasions that you don't have the ball and then you have to be 100% disciplined to do your job and to act as a team and to make the good pressure and that uh, starts with a certain uh, compact uh, and that is the job what we have to do.